Wait one second, my name's Jeremy Gordon, I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to some Yakuza Zero. Hopefully you are all doing okay today in the day too. Ow, my ear. That gave me a fright there. Okay, but hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Sorry about that, I was just taking a drink of water there. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right back into where we last left off. A lot has happened that I cannot explain. You'll have to see the last episode. Because I'm not a very fast reader. <laughs> so I missed quite a lot of the story, I tell you. You know what? I do wish there was a uh, thing that if you missed some of the text, you could go back. Kind of like in some of the uh, RPGs. Now, where am I going? Ah, yes, we're heading home. Uh... No! Why another quest? It's like the fourth quest. Oh, you took it that, that way? I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. Ah, uh, I don't get it. What's this? A lover's spat in public? Fine. You know, I'm just trying to go home. Oh, uh, so close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Oh, don't gloat me. Well, glo don't gloat. Can't we just drop it? Uh, but, but... What? What's all the ruckus about? You kids are awfully... Are being awfully loud in front of this shop. That's bad for business. Uh. Oh, yes. Sorry. Huh? So spill it. What's got to you two flying off the handle? Stamps, probably. Uh -huh. Some picture you drew out squares have yeah. Okay, some pictures you drew out of squares has yeah that worked up. What the? It's not a drawn. It's a crossword puzzle. A crossword puzzle? <laughs> yes. It's a puzzle with square grids in which you write answers to clues each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end. <laughs> How about that? That's what's hip and... That's what's hip and happening these days? It does sound kind of fun. Usually they are, but the puzzle Ko Kun made is too hard. I'm over it. I bet you it's like, will you marry me or something like that? Uh -huh. Ko Kun? Uh -huh. Oh, that would be me. I'm Kosaku. This is my girlfriend, Sh Shishiku. Ah, I cannot say that one. Shizuku. Shizuku? Ah, I can't pronounce it, I tell you. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> So you used to make puzzles and get each other to solve them. You must really like these things. <sighs> uh, uh, yes, that's true, but... Uh -huh. Hmm? Oh, blah. I'm over it. I don't wanna want to work out work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made this for me, but I can't... But can I give up? <clears throat> no, absolutely not. <clears throat> it is definitely, you know, marriage. Huh, why? B because you just can't quit. I'll help you guide. I'll help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. Oh, you're sucking all sucking all the fun right out of this by being so ten intense, Kokun. I don't want to do it. Oh no, you have to please. I said I don't want to anymore. Sorry to intrude. Have fun solving puzzles and fighting about it, or whatever, just keep it down, will you? Oh yes. Sorry. Excuse me. May I have your name? Huh? I'm Majima. Majima, sir? I have a huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? Say what? <laughs> well, so when you solve your puzzle, it becomes your proposal to Shizuku-chan? That's 
that's some that's some real creative stuff there, I tell you. Shh, Majima-san, keep your voice ah. down. Oops, sorry, sorry. Just trying to say it's real clever, romantic too, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Ouch, that's a tough one. <sighs> yes, that's where you come in, Majima-san. Can you help Shizuku Chan solve the puzzle? I am terrible at Clark's words. Oh. Huh? Help her solve it? But why do I gotta do that? If I keep hounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Shizuku Chan with the puzzle so she can get to my proposal? Okay. Alright, sure. I'll help you. <laughs> you will? You're my hero. Okay, let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle and you're golden, right? Hi. Yes. If the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. A proposal's a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pinch hit for you. A pinch. I'll pinch it. Pinch hit for you. Thank you. Let's move inside. Move it inside. It's a crab restaurant. It's a red crab, not the red lobster. Red crab. It's a weird thing, you know. They tried to combine. What's called? They tried to combine. Uh, what's it called? Olive Garden and Red Lobster into one. That's why you can find certain ones that are just, you know, two restaurants in one. Kukun, you made this crossword puzzle way too hard. Can't we do something else? D don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I treat you to the best crab they've got. I like that actually, but there's no way. Ah, the way to a woman's heart is food and snacks. I'll be o I'll be okay. Majima San, here's a expert. He can ride Majima San. Ah. Like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. <laughs> oh, really? That would be so helpful. Cocoon's been obsessed with this crossword thing. Uh. It's so weird. Can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future riding on this. Huh? Uh, let's get to the puzzle. Let's get this puzzle started. Let's solve one down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh... What's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. A dish made by boiling and crushing t potatoes and often served with gravy. Back it up. What is gravy? It's a western sauce made from juices of cooking meat. You know, the brown sauce they often serve with steaks and meat when it's served western style. You know what? Seeing brown sauce being referenced is like, you know, the funniest thing. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> uh, brown si brown sauce and chips. That is what you get at, you know, chippies in Scotland, I tell you. There's just so much brown sauce. No ketchup, no ketchup. They don't do ketchup. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's the... Oh, they're talking about gravy. So, gravy granules. Yes. But it's boil From the number of squares, it looks like a six letter word. Okay, dish by boiling crushed potatoes, often served with gravy. It's called blank potato. The blank being six. M A S H E D. Mashed. I eat mashed potatoes all the time. Not hashed, not mushed. Mashed. See ya. I ain't it mashed? Oh, that sounds right. It's creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak. Yes, mash. Mashed potatoes. Now, if you ever make mashed potatoes, you uh, boil the potatoes after, you know, peeling them. And then you mash them with uh, milk and butter. That is how you make mashed potatoes. It's better to do it from scratch because all the heat up ones. Ugh. Disgusting, I tell you. Disgusting. No one gets it right. Same with uh, canned haggis, I tell you. 
canned haggis is just terrible compared to the actual haggis, I tell you. Oh, that sounds right. It's creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak, Majima-san. You're fabulous. <laughs> yup, yup. Majima-san, you're on the ball. Yeah, I guess that has to be the answer. The only place, places that serve mashed potatoes are the ones that can't spell. This is what you're hoping for? Yes. You're doing great. I think it's safe to fill in the squares then. Shinjuku-san, from square one down, mashed. Let's see. Mashed. I wrote it down. Ah. Alright, next clue. Next clue is... What is the most popular snack food served at movie theatres? Kokun even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie we saw. Popcorn? This, this person, this girl, I tell you, doesn't know what, you know, they had at the last time that they went to the movies. They were stuck on this puzzle for ages, and they did not know what they had last time at the movies. Popcorn? Hmm. I ain't been to the theaters in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. Have to agree. But if I shared some the last time you saw a flick, do you remember what it is? I do remember buying some stuff at the counter, but what all was it? They asked w him what size, and then. Oh, it comes in different sizes, huh? There are, sev there are seven grids to be filled the same. Pop is three letters. Corn is four letters. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Seventh letter snack food. That's most popular at movie theaters and it comes in different sizes. Oh, hot dogs. Wow. Noodles. Ah, yes. In Japan, they have noodles instead of popcorn. That would actually be quite cool. Hot dogs and noodles. It would be kind of messy, but it's, it's a little less messy than popcorn, I tell you. Huh. Disgusting people, I tell you. They just chuck it everywhere. Ain't it popcorn? Oh, yes. That's right. It's popcorn. <laughs> yup, yup. That's it. And I was like, nope, nope. Not that. Yes, popcorn has really taken off in the movie theaters lately. Why didn't I remember that? Looks like we got it right. Yes, you're doing great. Please keep it up. Shinjuku chan, let's fill in those squares. Popcorn. Okay, um, popcorn. I wrote it down. Ah. Alright. Bring on the next clue. Next clue is a phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is sometimes called a blank mobile phone. <clears throat> they really make phones you can put in bags or on your shoulders now? Man, what a time to be alive. Looks like the word M B I L E. Mo has two. Phone with carrier strap that can be taken anywhere. It's called a blank. So the eight letter word to fill in. High tech phone. Backpack phone. Shoulder phone. Shoulder phone. See ya. Hit it shoulder? Shoulder? Are you sure? <laughs> yes, yes. Has that one strap, so you can sling it over your shoulder. Yes! I knew my knowledge from olden times were good. Mother Berry shall be so proud. I shall ask him what a shoulder phone is again. <laughs> you know what, I don't, I don't even have a good memory of what a shoulder phone would be. I know mobile radios and all that. You can move around. I guess it would be kind of a mobile phone. But not that the uh, mobile phones that we knew of today. And not the phones that we have today. I get that one down. Shoulder. Just light. 
They're not even in the lines. They're not even in lines. It's just terrible to watch. Rolled it down. Good. On to the next one. Majima-san. We're almost done. The next one's the last queue. Yeah. Then let's do this. Okay. I'll read the last queue. This term is used to categorize the faces of men. A man with typical plain Japanese features is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. Teenager slang. Now I'm done. I think the two blanks are where the answer goes. It must be two words. There's room for eight letters in it. In all. Sauce face must mean... Oh, that sounds... Sauce face describes a face. It's rugged and foreign. Two words followed by face. Opposite is sauce face. So the two words are... Soy sauce. The opposite is sauce face. You know what? I'm actually got to pause it, and I'm gonna look it up. I tell you. I'm gonna look it up. I'm sorry. I need to know this actual. The secondary category is sauce face, and despite its close name to previous category, it doesn't describe the same face. A, pe a person with sauce face doesn't have the t typical Japanese features, but rather a western looking face with pronounced f facial features. Do -do -do. Salt face. S sauce face. Salt face. You know what? I was actually thinking it might have been salt face. I was mixed between miso soup and salt face. And it turns out salt free. Salt free. Yeah. And it's salt free. Salt free. And that makes sense. Salt free would definitely be plain. And I guess it would be related to seasoning. Yeah. Oh what? When I fry an egg, I use just a dash of salt. It's not quite salt free, but close enough, right? How about you, Majima san? Ah. I doubt my eggs I douse my eggs in sauce, so salt free sounds like the total opposite. In two words, eight letters, this one has here is a grand slam. Yeah. Wait, but Sinjushu Chang, gotta write that down. Salt free, okay? Yep, um, salt free. No, that's wrong. Huh? That's not right. Salt is a season, but you're saying salt free. And how are salt and sauce opposites? The logic train left the station and you guys weren't on it. Really? Uh oh. So the answer isn't? Salt free? It's soy sauce. Then why did the person say it was salt? I was gonna say soy sauce. I'm sick of this, I tell you. I'm sick of this. Ah, someone had a dumb question when I read it. I'm playing Yakuza 1, well Yakuza 0 and finished the crossword sub story. How is the opposite of sauce face, sauce, soy sauce face? Shouldn't it be something different than sauce? It's soy sauce, a type of sauce. Please explain. A bit of light of light googling didn't give me any answers, so this is nothing more than any educated guess, but there is a good chance it's some kind of pun that's impossible to translate into English or maybe it's just supposed to be 
a surreal joke that makes doesn't make sense in the first place. I guess, you know, it was not salt free. <laughs> Just the game being stupid. Oh, sorry. Write it down. Soy sauce is that. Okay, okay. Soy, soy sauce face, huh? Kids these days. <sighs> I wrote it down. Ah, let's see. That it for the clues. Yes. Yay. It's all done. Wait, wait. It's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Do you see the circles on the puzzles? You've got to use the circled letters to form a word. Alright, let's see. It says let's blank. I guess the blank is the word you get from the letters circled on the puzzle. So it's five letters. From mash, you get M and A. You get R. Shoulder, you get R. And from soy sauce, you get Y. Okay. Now put those letters together. Let's marry. Kukun, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been waiting to say those words for a long time now, but I could never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting them into a crossword puzzle would help me, and that's why I was so adamant about... about you solving this one. But I made it too hard, sorry. Kukun. So, uh, um... What you read there is how I feel about you, Shinzuku chan. Do you do you have a answer? Not until you say it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Kokun, I want you to look me in the eyes and say it. Sorry? Shinzuku chan, will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? You will? Sweet. Yes. Huh? How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it. Instead of putting me through this, you idiot. Uh... I'm sorry. I didn't think you had so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose. You know, I wanted you to say it. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Kenze Kozaku and Suzuku. Do I get some of the crab? Guess I might have. Ajima, I can't possibly thank you. You got five tamales. <laughs> Majima san, you sure know your way around crossword puzzles. You breeze right through it. You really knew at these? <laughs> yep. First time. It was pretty fun, no? You gotta put together another one of these for me sometime. Yeah. Oh, I don't think there'll be another one. A crossword puzzles making days are over. From now on, if I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Kokun. <laughs> <laughs> You're sappier than a tree, Kokun, but good for you. We'll be going now. Thank you, Majima san. Thank you so much. We're going to be so happy together. Ah. Yep, no doubt. I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. But he's right. If you want to say something, you gotta say it in your own words. Your own words are what get you through life's toughest spots, even when you got across words. <laughs> <laughs> High five, brain. Time to be moving along. Hmm. That's my pager. Six five eight one zero and twenty nine. Make dragon tiger and equipment. Something must have come in. Looks like Fei Hu's back from the, that equipment search. Wonder what he found. We got to swing by the dragon tiger. Where's the dragon tiger again? No, 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 no.
You got Kotomi Asakura Type A card. Oh? No, 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 no. Ah, hello there. Watch out, there's a guy up there. Oh no! I was just trying to warn you about the you know, money guy. Oh, you mess with me. You mess with the bat. I am the bat. I am. I am the one who smashes. I am the butter. Kapow. You're like a baseball, I tell you. Kapow. Get out of my face. You know what, I love this, uh, you know, how it fights, I tell you. I want more. I need more. Hmm? What's that girl doing by she all by herself? She's lost? Hey, kiddo. Where are your mum? Are you lost? No, I'm not. No? And what you standing around for? All by yourself, Nan, huh? No reason. What's up, this kid? She's doing it right. Not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Listen, why don't you hightail it for back to your mum? Instead of loafing around here. This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off of you, Nan, you little scamp. Kinda looked like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost. And ought to make it home, okay? Just hope there's no troublemakers lurking around. Hmm. Oh, that's, does that depend who there? Hello. We got equipment search results. Visited the old rundown shopping district near Sotoboro. Managed to sneak into some store to pay, despite suspicious looks from the shoppers. Twins or clones? No negotiations. Partner or doppelganger? Mission went even better than hoped. We're sounding success. Steel, iron, plastic. Which went even better than hoped. Oh. Equipment res recipe. Parts. Not bad. Behu. Not bad. I'm not a professional agent, but next time we will call one on one of, a of the agents in the network. Well, I will continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network to get more information on powerful equipment and acquire more resources agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get. Makes sense, I guess. You got one of a kind weapon, you ain't gonna wanna sell it to some agent guy. In those cases, the agents can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica, and I can then recreate the item in my shop. But you need parts for that, so get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them for free. You look a man. Lead ingots. Iron gears. Timber. Driftwood. Cursed handcuffs. Slint stone. You bring money too, otherwise we know it. I don't care about your eggs. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <sighs> Such a trouble, I tell you. I don't know if who, long how are doing, I'll drop in and see them later. Hello, what do you need? Equipment search. I'll send out the agent. Did 
the jackal. This one. Yes. What do you want? Craft equipment. Lumber, iron pipe. <laughs> uh, nah, uh, that's me done. I need to end this episode. This episode's getting a bit too long. It's just quest after quest, I tell you. It's just quest after quest. I like that little, you know, cat there. One of my teachers back then always used to say that they got reminded of that because uh, I used to wave like that. Check it out, a little kid. All by her lonesome. Hey, she ain't old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, would ya? No fool. Grab the kid. Shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Pray smart. Come be. Could be some nice cash in that. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Don't wanna. Huh? You little brat. You coming one way or another. Eh, <sighs> uh, no. Leave me alone. See what I tell you. Who are you, old man or old man? Nobody special, just looking out for a stranger. Huh? Stranger? And mind your own business. Don't go getting any ideas or we'll make sure you'll regret it. Next time you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town full of scumbags. Huh? Scumbag? Nobody calls me scum. Don't worry. I got bat. Bat beats now. Capo. Uh, Capo. Oh, I've been stabbed. Help me, kid. Help me, kid. I'm I'm dying over here, kid. You know what? I'm sick of this. Take this guy! It's my foot! Goodbye. Yeah. Look, we're sorry. Give me a break. G give me a break. Good for nothing, losers. Thanks, sir. No problem, kid. Sir, I'm only 24, you know. Anyway, as I was saying, why don't you head home? Head on home. Okay. Something wrong? You and your mom fighting? No. And what's up? The doll. Huh? The red chestnut and squirrel. Red chestnut and squirrel? You mean that red squirrel prize and the UFO catcher? Yeah. You want that? Yeah, I'm sure your dad buy you one if you ask nice. But don't have a dad. Oh, sorry, scamp. Uh. It's okay, I'm fine. Still, no point hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can you? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's so cute. I just like to look at it. Yeah, you're a strange kid. All right, I gotta get going. Okay. Uh. You got to know interacting with the, 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 the red chestnut squirrel, huh? Can't have her standing out here all day, so I'll grab one. Maybe I'll give it to her. I've come for the chestnut squirrel. Where is the chestnut squirrel in the UFO? Chestnut squirrel. 
So I'm looking for the chestnut squirrel. You know what the chestnut squirrel is? <laughs> Have a good time. Where's the chestnut squirrel? The red chestnut squirrel. Looks like, you know, Sega consoles. <laughs> oh, I think it might actually be Sega console. They jerks. This is rigged. I could tell. It's too thin to carry it. Hate those ones. They do such strange views for this, I tell you. The red chestnut squirrel I see in the back over there. Congratulations. Chestnut squirrel, blue, poop. There's a red one. No, 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 no. Other machine. There's a red one. Oh, I had a bad tail. How could this do this to me? Gonna blue axolotl probably. Probably not. Oh, I almost got two prizes there. Woo, Papa. Prizes. The chestnut squirrel red. That's what I came here for. No, I don't need that anymore. It's quite fun though. Quite fun. It's a lot better than you know that I'm actually getting the prizes. And not you know, not getting the prizes like they do in real life. Good. What? You staring at that chestnut, the chestnut squirrel doll? Oh yeah, I am. I have one of those red chestnut squirrels now. May I ought to give it to, give it to her. Ah, fine. Here. You handed over the chestnut squirrel red. Wow. It's a red chestnut squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah. Well, it ain't exactly my thing. 
So, why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. Never got a present from anyone beside my mum before. Best day ever. That's so. Well, glad you like it. Now, will you go home? Hey, I'm gonna tell my mum all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Bye. A little scamp's a handful. But it feels kinda nice to make her day like that. It's night time, Majuma. So I'm gonna go save. Nah, save box. Okay. Well, I do think that's where we're gonna end, as I tell you. We only made, you know, 15 feet, I tell you. Only 15 feet. But hopefully you still enjoyed this. Have a nice CC. Pop this up. Maybe some more shoes. Thank you for the vitamins. Very important. And bye. See you next time. Everybody. See you. Bye bye.